So it's hard to believe, but it is August 4th. Um, I actually just got awarded my Zone 11 doe tag this weekend, so I'm pumped about that. My brother got one for, out in Sutton, so that'll be another awesome thing for gun hunting out there. See if he gets one. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is just nasty out. So I'm gonna do some tips along the way for new deer hunters because um, until we're at least in the meat of the season and I'm hopefully recording what I'm doing in the field. But I haven't done much deer hunting stuff because I'm trying to get everything else in order um, before the season. And also you really don't wanna be in the woods. This time of year it is muggy, it's awful, and all you're doing is sweating and bumping deer around. My thing with this, this time of year especially is because you do want to get out there at some point get some cameras maybe put some stands up get some pre-season stuff done you got to wait until you have a day where it's going to rain either get out there right before the rain or get out there in the rain it'll get rid of all your um scent in the woods and whatnot so that's going to be tip number one um but i also want to talk about like new hunters that are trying to find new locations to hunt because this is the time of year to be doing that. Um, you don't have to go in the woods yet to start scouting for deer because they're, they're in a summer pattern. Everything's gonna change come the fall and then come November, who knows what's gonna happen with the bucks running everywhere. So my, my tips, if I was a first year hunter again and I wanted to, to know some knowledge would be to start on the internet. Um, start looking local spots from you that look good um, google distance calculator will give you um, footages from houses but um, a neat trick that i've done that has enabled me to kill a lot of deer is go on facebook go on the town pages that you want to hunt and just type in deer type in deer hunter in search and do most recent and you'll get people posting pictures of deer in their yards and You'll get people saying they hit a deer on a certain street and just find out where they live, find out their addresses. It's pretty easy to just Google their name and <clears throat> see if, where, where the woods is near them. Because if there's deer there, there's gotta be woods nearby. And that's what I do. I, I find where their reports are of people posting pictures and I scout that nearest woods and it's been very successful for me. Also, another thing when you're driving around, Keep an eye on people that have hedges. Um, a lot of times you'll see them like the first three, four feet chewed completely to nothing. It's just like a stump and then it grows up right over the deer's head. The deer are eating those. So there's deer in the area and that's another telltale to mark that on your phone, get a, um, a GPS app, get hunt stand. That's what I like to use and mark it. And then later on, go back and look if you're, even if, you're a veteran hunter that's been hunting the same few spots like start marking that stuff because you lose stands you lose areas i have a little bit more work this year because um two of my spots the friggin developments there's always developments coming up and i lost two of my spots the, the stand i i hunted last year i shot two deer in the same like five minute span a nice buck and a doe i gotta move that stand's gone so i got a spot that's legal in the same area so hopefully i gotta move a stand that stand there and, and hunt that this year and see what happens but you just always have to be scouting no matter how long you've been hunting for you just always have to scout so that's my plan i'm gonna do some videos on setting up trail cameras and um, my stand set up um, i'm big for walking in riverways and using a kayak so I'm gonna also do a video on my setup that I have and how I do it with the, my bow and all that, taking everything in and everything out. So there'll be a lot more videos to come. I'm sure you guys are sick of just seeing videos of me looking at the camera and talking, but <clears throat> just not great weather. I'm actually checking on my um, beehives that I have and, and doing all that right now until we get a nice day that I can get out and get some stuff accomplished, but definitely start a checklist. And um, now's the time to start thinking ahead of time because the season's gonna come quick and you don't wanna be doing all your scouting 
a week before the season starts. If you're doing that, you're too late.